So I haven't really uh, uploaded here in like two years, and that's because around the time Oras came out, uh, I kind of lost interest in Pokemon and picked up Competitive Smash. Uh, but I'm coming back because I played Ultra Moon and I am really upset, so I'm going to bitch at the <laughs> bitch at my computer monitor for a while. And uh, I don't have a capture card, so you're gonna just uh, just you know have this playing around in the background. You're watching it. I'm gonna have some some footage I recorded of when I was when I last played uh, Smash Bros with my friend on the Charizard of the kicking his ass. Anyway, I'm going to start off by saying that this game did not need to be its own game. Not enough has been changed for it to warrant being printed on another game cart. This could have just been DLC. I'm pretty sure a large majority of us want to buy this game because it's new. You know, there there is new content. There's new post-game content. And other than that, there really isn't much else they did with the game. That being said, I did enjoy Ultra Moon way more than I enjoyed Sun or Moon. And those are my least favorite installments in the main series. In a lot of ways, I see Ultra Sun and moon as modern Pokemon Platinum. By that I mean it takes a not so great Pokemon game and make it better while also adding more content. And in Platinum's case it is seen as the definitive version. That only applies to Platinum because Ultra Sun Moon is split into two versions because money. Platinum also had its own separate identity which is something I, I can't really say about Ultra Sun and Moon. Up until your Battle of Lusamine at Aether Paradise, Ultra Sun and Moon are almost identical to Sun and Moon with very, and I mean very, minor differences. And the problem is, the game looked like it would have been marketed to be more like Black and White 2, which is what I wish it did because those games were direct sequels and were very different experiences compared to the predecessor. It was a wonderful follow-up. I loved those games, for the most part. The meta was kind of eh. Instead, you get to experience the same game again, only now you notice that you can't skip cutscenes. Sun and Moon is a year old. It is very much still fresh in my mind, and I don't want to relive this game again, or at the very least, waste time watching cutscenes or mash buttons to get past dialogue. This is pretty minor criticism, and if I'm being truthful, this game did a lot right. It got rid of HMs as a requirement to progress, hidden abilities have never been easier to get, most Pokemon aren't shiny locked anymore. They fixed enemy level scaling, so you don't just steamroll the whole game with your starter Pokemon. The wide type range for totem trials encourage type diversity in your team, and actually probably encourage you to use a full team. I love those changes, but they did something that shits on this game, and on Sun and Moon. So let me get into the real issue I have with this game. The reason that makes me dislike this game. The selection of Pokemon you have in this game sucks. The new Pokemon fucking suck. By that I mean there are good new Pokemon, you know, like Toxapex, the Ultra Beast, the Tapus, and if I'm being honest, that's kind of where the, like, the list cuts off as far as good Pokemon are go. But you will not have these Pokemon in your party until post-game, except Toxapex, but Honestly, why would you want to use that in the main game? So why do the new Pokemon and the other Pokemon you could catch suck? The new Pokemon are so damn slow. Which wouldn't be a problem until you realize the NPCs use older Pokemon with overall better stats, especially the speed stat. You're going to be making more trips to the Pokemon Center in this game than you would have in other games. Not because of difficulty, it's because you just have shittier Pokemon. As for the non-Alolan Pokemon, they're fine. The problem is the really good Pokemon appear after they would have been helpful, like Gabite, who appears after the Electric Totem Pokemon, or they appear very early on and require level grinding, or just have really bad level up moves, you know, like Salamence, Crobat, practically every water type that isn't Primarina. Also, a lot of the good TMs don't appear until after you beat the game, which is bullshit, but Whatever. There are also almost no useful fire types in the game. Um, I overcame that in my playthrough in Moon, and I really wanted to avoid that in my playthrough of Ultra Moon. So I caught a Charmander via Island Scan. Charmander helped a lot actually, but just like Moon, I still had a hard time filling up my party with good Pokemon. Looking back, my party in Moon was better than my party in Ultra Moon. If I wanted to play this game again, I would combine the two ideas behind my teams to make the game more enjoyable. The team I wish I thought of using was Charizard, Jolteon, Gengar, Meganium, slash Venusaur, because, you know, Ultra Moon had Bulbasaur as an option instead of Chikorita, uh, Umbreon, and Primarina. These Pokemon together have the type coverage and walling capabilities to make me ignore the wild Pokemon placements in this game. And that's because this team is available on the first two islands, and they're available at good levels that don't require that much level grinding. So here are my final thoughts. As someone who purchased Moon at midnight release, I am irritated that I bought what felt like an incomplete product only to be slapped in the face a year later by another game that is pretty much the same fucking game, only it's a full product for the same price. Ultra Sun and Moon are better games than Sun and Moon. 
If you haven't bought in Sun and Moon and want to, just buy Ultra Sun and Moon instead. They're pretty much the same game, except better. If you did buy Sun and Moon and want to buy Ultra Sun and Moon, you know, because they're new, go ahead. Maybe wait till a price drop happens. There just isn't enough new content to justify buying it at full price. When the price drops, I'm going to buy physical copies of both games because my need to collect Pokemon games demand it. Those are my thoughts on Ultra Sun and Moon. If you listened to all of this, thanks for listening. I'm, I just wanted to bitch on the internet. I already bitched on Facebook, but uh, now I actually... I, I just like these games enough that I want to make a YouTube video about it. Um, if you're wondering about how frequently I'm uploading this channel, I'm, I'm not. I'm being completely honest, I, I have no desire to make Pokemon content at all. Um, I'm actually more geared towards Smash. And I do have an account that I do post Smash videos, although I don't really advertise it at all, which is why I have almost no subscribers. But if you want to check that out, here it is, link for it in the description. Um, I will be giving away Pokemon because I, I did that when Moon came out. I wanted to help the community hopefully like spark up a scene in uh you know in my local neighborhood that didn't happen so here is the team that i was grinding on the battle tree for it got me over 200 wins in moon and i'm currently at over 50 wins in ultra moon probably next week i'll announce that i'm giving them away so that you all don't have to struggle with trying to grind up battle points because it's, it's it's bullshit i'll tell you that thank you all for watching this is right here's our signing out